Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me. So, the progress is getting better. Um, the coolant is full. If we look here, you can see it and it's green. Ooh, tasty. It looks a little slimy, but it isn't slimy. Uh, it's just dust particles in there. But if you start getting your coolant definitely looking slimy-ish in any kind of way, you definitely want to change it ASAP. So, good and bad news. The good news is, I think I got it. Um, I have the T ATV back, rear, uh, flipped up basically. And this prevents, or at least helps get the air bubbles out. Um, but honestly, I don't think that was our problem to start with. Uh, our fan went out pretty much boiled most of our coolant out. It basically ran all our coolant out. And then after that, uh, I think the biggest contributor was I would fill this up, run it a bit, fill it again, and leave it, and I would think that's done. Well, as far as I can tell, you want the coolant right up. It's not even quite full yet. You need a little bit more, but you want it basically right here. See this pipe? this pipe and this pipe and it circulates through I think as far as I know it circulates back and forth back and forth so here when I wasn't thinking about that before I was thinking you just fill this up and it stays in the storage container as far as I know it actually circulates and I wasn't worrying about or doing anything about that so if you don't fill it up here I guess the circulation wasn't working properly uh, it didn't I guess it you know it didn't kind of connect and didn't have the proper pressure in there um, plus with probably all the air bubbles uh, it was causing it now on top of that you got an overflow overflow is I guess when it you know boils too much and you get too much in it it can store in here the overflow you can keep about to oops sorry about to this line ish I think that's what they usually say I think around there um, I'm actually the full hot full cool oh, actually I have a little too much it's actually down here but that's fine. It'll overflow if it gets too much. Now, here is the problem. Um, as far as I know, this, this line here goes some of the bottom of this. And I guess from the pressure, the suction, something like that, over time, I guess the amount in here will go into here. Now, I don't know how extremely important the overflow is to actually go back into the system. But here was the problem. Right here was against here so tight that there was a crink in the cable that prevented it from probably working. I mean, it was so tight and so thick that nothing, as far as I can know, uh, tell, could have gone through there. I mean, I couldn't have sucked uh, anything out of it, and that's how tight it was. Um, honestly, what should I do? Buy a new one. What am I doing right now? Well, since I don't have a clamp or anything right now, I'm being a little cheap, and I'm putting pressure and weight on uh, two of these... Uh, uh, whatever you call them, <laughs> and uh, they're basically re-bending the pipe, and basically I'll leave that for a day sitting like that, and hopefully that'll re-correct the uh, plastic. Um, it may not because it was superheated so hot that uh, it may have melted into that way and created like a hard forming in the plastic where it made memory back into that position. If that's the case, unfortunately, I'm going to have to replace this cable. Um, I don't know where I can get another plastic thing uh, like this. And also, here's the other problem I don't know how or what to do. See here? I pulled it off a bit here. This plastic is over top of this plastic. It's not something that just sticks on there. As far as I know, you need a tool to expand this plastic over top of it. So I don't know what that would be called or what I'm looking at. Uh, I usually shop at Crappy Tire. So if anyone has con suggestions on that, that'd be great. But as far as I know... This will, should fix it. Also, some people su suggested me not to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways. I've decided to take off my temperature thing and directly hook up the power to the fan. So every time I start the machine, the fan is on, no matter what. Some people say that may not be good uh, because you may run out of power. I have it on a trickle charger every night, like the proper one that doesn't overcook it. Um, but... Not only that, uh, this is a 40 amp, uh, oh, what the hell is that thing called? Alternator? Alternator. Alternator? Alternator. Yes, I think that's what it is. This thing right here. And uh, because it's so high in voltage, uh, I'm having a high feeling that this is more than enough to keep up uh, charging the fan. The fan shouldn't be that insane amount of power. 
Uh, also, I usually don't use my headlights on. So I think with the combination, I think it will be good to keep the fan on all the time. It'll keep it a little extra cool, and hopefully it'll help uh, prevent any further issues down the road. So uh, yeah, let me know if you guys think I've done you know if you think I've done it right, and uh, thank you so much.